Guys, speak your mind, Jay. Don't let anyone take that away. Don't go about life rushing everywhere. We're always rushing somewhere because life can end at any second. Some dickhead, Jay, yeah, could just go on the bus you're on and it don't matter if you're rushing nowhere, bro. No one gives a crap, bro. You can just blow up that bus with a bomb, set it on fire, whatever, and then your life's ruined. So don't go about rushing everywhere. If you get late to your job, yeah, then, okay, improve on that. Leave earlier. Okay, sometimes you might need to rush in it because you've got to keep going in life no matter what, but don't always be in a rush when there's, it's not necessary. Like, say if you're going back home, yeah, and then you're just walking back home. Like, it's like, bro, I see bet adults do that all the time. Don't be doing that, fam. Don't be doing that. Don't be flipping doing that. Even if you're female, yeah, I can understand, yeah, the fear of, oh, bro, I can understand the fear of, like, of, like, because there's so many weird creeps out here that want to do fuck, fuck all to, like, females and shit. I don't stand up for that, bro. If I see a bro, I always say this, yeah, if I see a female, if I dare see a female being abused by a guy, yeah, bro, I'm fucking killing that guy. He's not living that day, bro, because it's hard enough walking on the streets alone as a female enough. So, for you to be doing that to a female, bro, fuck you, man. You don't, look fuck, you don't fucking deserve to, to live, you get me, fam? You don't fucking deserve a life, bro. Like, fuck you, man. But, yeah, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying, cuz? Forgot. Like, okay, yeah, I remember what I was saying now. Like, fucking speak your mind, innit? Don't let no one take that away from you. Because if you keep going about, like, oh, I don't know what this guy has, I don't know what she has, I don't know what he's gonna do to me, this and that, bro. Don't fucking let no one, like, like, okay, like, if it's your family member or friend, you can allow it, like, sometimes, but it gets to a point where it's enough, innit? So if you feel, whenever you feel like speaking up for yourself, speak up for yourself. Because you're a smart guy, yeah? Up here, yeah? Don't feel like you're a dumb fucking, you don't know what the fuck you're saying, bro. You know what you're talking about. So don't be thinking to yourself, because it's easy to think you're the worst at everything. It's easy to think that. Like, you get random thoughts in your head, and then you, and then all of a sudden you, you become depressed, bro. Don't listen to that shit, bro. If you feel depressed, yeah? Go home. Do some exercise and then cry for a bit to let that pain out. Cry. Crying helps, bro. Crying helps. Don't cry about on the street for attention, yeah? Because that's not going to help. That's not going to solve anything. Don't cry at school when you're in trouble. Because that's not going to help no one's ass, bro. No one's going to fucking feel sad for you. But cry for your own behalf. Cry because you want to cry. Cry because you feel like something in there you need to get out. That's the main reason I cry. I cry because there's something in there I need to get out. I don't care if no one says to me, oh, you're crying over something small. You're crying, oh, you're a boy, bro. You shouldn't be crying, bro. Bro, it's healthy because if you, the more you cry on one specific situation, yeah, the less you will cry about it. That's how you grow up because how comes, yeah, when we're babies, yeah, we cry bears. And then as we start to get older, we start to cry less and less and we start to, because we're getting used to crying over this situation that we're not used to. And then our body's just getting used to it, so we don't need to cry about it no more. Do you get me? So cry at whatever you want to cry about. Let that, let that shit out. Let that pain out. You don't see no baby that doesn't cry when it's born. You don't see no baby doing that. I mean, apparently to my mum, yeah, she tells me that when I was, when I was a baby, yeah, I didn't cry. When I, when I first came out, I didn't cry. Apparently that's what my mum's saying. But, nah fam. How comes, like, majority of babies, yeah? When they come out the womb, when they first come out the womb, the first thing they do is cry. They don't, they, like, bro, it's only natural to do that. That's proof right there that it's natural to cry. That is proof right there. It's natural to cry. you got to do it. you got to do it. Because if you don't cry, if you don't let shit out, if you don't let pain out, then it's gonna affect you in the head. 
and shit like that. But yeah, we all, trust me, we all get it. We all get them thoughts in the head that tell us, oh, you're fucking shit at this, you're not gonna fucking do it. Bro, prove your mind wrong. Prove that shit in your mind wrong. Do that fucking shit. Take the risk, take the risk to do it. Take the risk to do it, bro. I don't care, bro, because the more you hide and hide, the more useless you're gonna feel. You've got no choice but to feel useless, so take more risk, bro. This thing looks beautiful, I can't lie. This thing actually looks beautiful. So yeah, as I was saying, yeah, feel what you need to feel. Don't fucking hold back. Don't hold back from it. E267. And that was SC152 before. Like, okay, like, obviously, if you're, not in, if you're in a sticky situation, don't be focusing on crying. Because crying ain't going to help. It's going to make your vision blurry. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do madness, yeah? So don't cry when you're in danger. But when, once you get yourself out of it and you, need, and you feel like you need, to, you, need to, you need to get out all that pain, then cry, innit? But if you're in, if you're, if someone's attacking you, don't be crying, because crying's gonna fuck up your blurriness, so you won't be able to beat that guy's ass up, and that guy's gonna see you as a weakness, because when you cry, when you're going through like a dangerous situation, then you're basically saying that you've given up. That's what you're basically saying. But cry when you get out of it to release that pain, or like okay, like if if if, if no one's like attacking you, then you can cry, innit? If no one's attacking you, then you can cry. If you've got yourself to a safe area, WVL465. If you've got if you've got yourself here yeah, to a safe area where that guy that was attacking you ain't attacking you no more, and you've beat him, and you've beat his ass up, or you've just outrun him, or you've run away from him, yeah, then you can start crying if you feel like it. If you feel like okay. Bro, that was a bit too stressful for me. I need to cry. Then cry, bro. But don't be crying all the time because sometimes crying's not useful. Crying doesn't really help you, but cry when you need to let the pain out. Like, okay, I'm not gonna say don't cry like, like at times, yeah, because then people are gonna still hold the same tears in it. But what I will say, okay, you know when it's not necessary to cry. I mean, no, 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 no. What, like, okay, like, you know, yeah, when to cry and when not to cry. Like, if, obviously, if you're in danger, don't cry, bro. Fucking get, get yourself safe first before you cry. Or, like, if it's over, like, a game, fam, why are you crying, fam? Like, come on. Okay, if you're, like, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then, okay, you can cry over that because you'll get used to losing the game. But don't cry. Don't cry over your game once you've cried multiple times over losing the game and you've got used to it don't be crying nah 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 fuck that yeah just cry when you need to cry when you feel like getting shit out cry when you feel like it unless you're in danger that's what i will say that's all i'm gonna say <laughs>